So what's going on guys, it's JM Speedboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel before you click on to any of my videos, also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of my videos, like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So Paul Smith Jr, former two time world title challenger, former British super middleweight champion, he's getting his third shot at a world title against WBA regular champion Tyron Zaig on June 17th in Frankfurt in Germany. I hate all this WBA regular title shit, I've already said this in the past, and I know a lot of people are saying, well isn't George Groves fighting for the WBA title on the Cal Brook undercard? Well yeah, he is, but that's the super title, and in my opinion that's the real WBA title. This title, Smith and Zager fighting for, is just a fucking glorified interim belt in my opinion. But nevertheless, Paul Smith Jr is getting this shot, and the reactions online have been hilarious in my opinion. Like, most people have just got their head in their hands like, oh, why? Because they're thinking, why is Paul Smith getting a shot at the WBA regular title? Like, what's he done to deserve it? And that's true because I think the last good win Paul Smith had, don't get me wrong, he's fought some good fighters, Paul Smith. It's just the fact he hasn't beaten any. <laughs> and the last good fight he had in which he won was against Tony Dodson at domestic level. And Tony Dodson was a domestic fighter. Then he got stopped by James DeGale in 10 rounds. Then he fought Journeyman. Then he got knocked out by George Groves in 2 rounds. And then again, more Journeyman. Then he got a shot against WBO super middleweight champion off at Abraham out in Germany. And Paul Smith boxed out his skin that night. Like He put on a very good performance. I give him credit for that. Like It was a very close fight. A lot of people thought Paul Smith won the fight. But he was in Germany against Arthur Abraham. So if it goes to the cards, it's not looking good for you if you're the away fighter. And then the scorecards were very wide. Like one judge gave it to Arthur Abraham by about 10 rounds and Paul Smith. And a lot of people weren't happy by that. And then he got the rematch against Arthur Abraham and Cheese. And he was beaten more convincingly by Arthur Abraham and Cheese in that fight. Like he lost that fight. And then after that, he fought Andre Ward. Like Andre Ward was coming back after a long layoff and he wanted someone to shake the rust off against. And that was Paul Smith. Someone to look good against for his fans in Oakland. And Paul Smith came into that fight. He missed weight. And he just got beat up by Andre Ward for nine rounds until the fight was stopped. And then since then, yes, you guessed it, he fought more journeymen. And now he's getting a shot at the WBA regular title. I don't know how the hell Paul Smith is number five with the WBA. Like, like oh, what's going on? Like... Anyway, the fight, I think Paul Smith could have a chance of beating Tyron Zaig because Tyron Zaig isn't a very good fighter in my opinion at all. Like, he's a typical German fighter, high guard, comes forward. Not as good as somebody like Arthur Abraham. He just comes forward with a high guard. He uses a jab a little bit, Tyron Zaig, but it's not a very good jab. It's not a wicked jab like a George Groves jab. It's just a very basic jab. Just flicks it out there. And he's not particularly fast. He's got decent power, but not something that's devastating. And this could be an interesting fight. Paul Smith, if he turns up and puts in one last big performance, he could beat this guy. Because I've seen this guy struggle with crap fighters in the past, Tyron Zaig. He's trained by Jürgen Bremer, who is still an active fighter, but he's injured. Who knows if he's going to come back or not. But he's been trained by Jürgen Bremer while Jürgen Brainer has been active and was a world champion. And it'd be interesting to see if Paul Smith could pull it off, but not a lot of people are happy at all by Paul Smith getting this shot. Paul Smith gets a lot of hate from fans on social media, from people like, he's not really loved by the boxing community, Paul Smith, by the boxing fans, he gets a lot of stick. But yeah, comment below your opinion on this, I'm not going to waffle on too much. It's JM, it's Speedboxing.